uh, who shouldn't be voting to vote. Well, and I'm telling you what, Shan. Let, let me ask you, because, you know, folks on the other side of this will say those are all scare tactics and there aren't real cases of fraud that you could point to in Texas. Well, and, well, there have been, and and you can go back to Duval County and Lyndon Johnson days when he told his his uh, supposedly his campaign manager, no, this uh, this man in this grave has ever been as much right to vote as all the other uh, people in this cemetery. I mean, those things have been going on, but when you don't have a requirement for a photo ID, it's hard to identify the fraud. So the fact is, we know people are not disenfranchised by requiring the requirement, although the Justice Department is spending more tax dollars to a, an acorn-type group, uh, Catalyst, that's, that's, they say on their website what their purpose is. It's to support the progressive movement, and that doesn't mean that they're going to be uh, uh, an unbiased witness in court. The fact that they would hire a biased witness like this shows how desperate they are. Any good trial lawyer knows you want expert witnesses who are unbiased, who have this great reputation, and the fact that he would give tax dollars to a biased group like this means there is no objective evidence that he can point to. And I'm telling you what, this, this Section 5 of the Voting Rights Amendment is a violation of equal protection. It was renewed for 25 years with majority states, many of whom had districts with more racial disparity than any of those that they were ramming this down. And, and that's a violation of equal protection. And I hope some attorney general from the states will raise that in the next round of litigation because it is outrageous that this attorney general, who knows nothing about justice, who testified right in front of me that there are political dimensions to justice. Well, there goes for this administration, justice being blind, what they want is a political justice department. Well, politics and justice are, are mutually exclusive. If you do we, not have blind justice, you don't have justice. we got to leave it there, but this will go to a federal court tomorrow in D.C. And, of course, the Voting Rights Act, Section 5, headed for the Supreme Court as well. So we'll keep an eye on those battles. We thank you for your time today, Congressman. Thank you, Shannon. Really appreciate it.